How to install exposed framework using Elsposed with Magis version 24.1 and above and can you use Riru and Zygisk at the same time? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install exposed framework using Elsposed with Magisk version 24.1 and above. And can you use Zygisk and Riru at the same time? So those of you who do not know with Magisk version 24.1, we have something new called Zygisk. Now, Zygisk like Riru runs in the Zygote, which means that either you can use Riru or you can use use Zygisk. So if you are using Magisk version 24.1 and above to root your Android devices, you unfortunately cannot use Riru because this one comes with something called Zygisk. Now, detailed videos about differences between Zygisk and Magisk hide and how to pass safety net with Magisk version 24.1, how to hide root, all of those videos are in the description of this video. Next thing, all the files, all the applications, whatever we are using in this video are also linked in the description of this video. So this here is an exposed framework module called X Privacy Lua and as you can see right now, the module is not running because I do not have exposed framework via else post installed on my device if i go into the modules section you will notice i have something called shamiko and universal safety net fix and my safety net right now is pass for both basic and cts eval type is set as basic now how do you install your exposed framework with zygisk all you need to do is go to the releases page of else post which again is linked in the description of this video now the latest release at the time of recording this video is 1.7.1 you will see something called assets tap on this arrow make sure it is expanded herein you will notice two versions of else post or exposed framework and you have one with riru and one with zygisk now since we are rooted with magisk version 24.1 we are going to download the one which says zygisk select the file make sure it is downloaded once that is done we need to go to the magisk application go into settings here and scroll down and enable zygisk if it is not enabled go ahead enable the toggle once you have enabled it for zygisk to kick in you do have to reboot your device once now back into android we can of course unlock our device and then we can go back into the magisk application go into settings here and make sure that zygisk is enabled once that is done we can go back to the main page go into modules here and select install from storage then three bar menu on the top left select your device's name go to the download folder because this is where all the files are downloaded if you download them on your phone directly all you need to do is select this else post or exposed framework the version which we downloaded was the one which had zygisk in the name and then go ahead and reboot your device now once we boot it back into android at this point you should have a shortcut for l Post on your home screen and there it is you can see that else post is installed it is activated and if i go into the modules section x privacy lua has been detected all i need to do is enable the module and then we can reboot our device one last time for the module to be enabled so we can unlock our device for the one last time go into x privacy lua and there it is you can see that we can now configure it to our preference and if i check for safety net my safety net is still passing without any issues now before you ask me hey manchi i did not get this shortcut what do i do in that case in that case open any file manager application which will let you unzip files i am using fx file manager you are free to use any file manager application which you want to go into main storage go into download here and select the else posed zip file three dot menu on the top right select open with and over here we are going to select archive extractor then three dot menu on the top right one more time and say extract here now this has extracted the contents of this zip file into a specific folder go inside this folder you will find an apk called manager.apk go ahead and install this apk and if your android operating system wants you to give fx file manager the permission to install apks you do need to 
allow that once that is done we have something called else post in our application drawer we are going to open this once you open it for the first time it is telling me that it recommends us to create that specific shortcut so that applications do not detect it here and select create shortcut and now if i go back i should have that shortcut back on my home screen and the next thing we need to do is we are going to go ahead and remove this application which we had just installed so else post press and hold go into the app info uninstall this application and there it is you can see we still have the shortcut which we need to access else post in fact i have two of those but we have successfully removed the manager application which we had installed and there it is peeps that is how you install exposed framework on your android devices rooted with magisk version 24.1 and above and we are using the zygisk version of else post or exposed framework and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.